So we are continuing where we left off. I think we were falling. I think that's the part where we were at. Because we were falling down a hole with GLaDOS and a potato. I think. Watch me be right. Watch it pop up like right now. Yep. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. So that, I think that's the old logo for Aperture Science. This is where a lot of the story comes in, where we're like underneath the facility into the original facility. And now we're by ourselves. Do like a ton of commentary right now. Don't know if I'm going the right way. Don't think I am. I think I need to be going this way. That was correct. I'm trying to adjust my mic here so I have the right amount of a. Uh, Sound. Double check it's working this time because the last time I didn't. Okay. Whoop. Dope. Please make that Dope. Into the maze. water. 100% that's radioactive water. Now I have cancer. Fun fact, there was like a huge spike in cancer rates like after we dropped the A-bomb. So we caused that shit. I'm sure I need to be over there. But I don't see a surface. Oh. I don't need to be over there right now. I need to like, get over there. Um, there's a huge cancer spike, so after we dropped the A-bomb... What the fuck is in there? I got... Crap in my hand. Anyways, we dropped the A-bomb, and then also Hiroshima. Um, that was a thing. Um... And then, of course, Chernobyl. So, like, basically, mankind. I, I don't, I don't want to say we caused cancer, and per se, that like, obviously, cancer existed before. You know, like I'm sure there was cancer before this, but like, who's to say that if it weren't for us, like, people wouldn't have cancer? I wasn't supposed to be there. Where do I need to be? I'm sure there's somewhere important I need to be. I just went up. So 
so I'm not. Oh, I need to be past the door. Right? I'm assuming that's where we're going with this. Yes, I was correct. There's the door that I couldn't get through. Don't you know these warning signs. Cosmic ray splation elements. <laughs> it's a, it's an enrichment shaft. Haha, <laughs> gross. You know this game is supposed to be PG, and I think I'm making it PG-13. And I just really feel like maybe I should shut up. Speaking of which, I will be adding a playlist separate from Portal um, to for the multiplayer. I'm just gonna call the playlist inebriated multiplayers. It it does have a lot of story, not a lot of story, like a lot of fun bits about Portal 2, but you don't need to watch it to know the story, which is great because it's going to be like 18 and up. Um, for reasons you will know if you were 18 and up and you get to watch the video. Um, and I'm going to put not just Portal there, like I might do Minecraft or something. But again, it's going to be 18 and up. I can't stress the fact that I am not encouraging small children to watch it. And that I suck at this game. Um, but that's a whole other story. Can I just get in to there, please? There we go. Didn't think that was that hard. And then... Okay, let's do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but let's do this. Oh, that was really dumb. Here. There isn't a good way to do this, so I'm just gonna... Nope. Okay, I see. I thought I had like a great plan. Because you have to do this within like X amount of. Yeah, I, I screwed up. And I screwed up again. <laughs> ah! Dang it! And I screwed up again and again. Isn't that just the story of my life, though? So. Let's do this. There we go, we did it. Pop down. Whee! There. Cold vault towards moving. Super dark, what's behind this vault door? My dog's giving me a like, I don't care what's behind this vault door. It's a small door. Oop, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why I bring up cancer and radiation is we're talking about like the chemicals and stuff. The chemicals and the warning signs and stuff. Mankind did that. We did that. Like, there may have been cancer before, but, like, we made it a huge thing to where, like, our children still get it because it's still in the air. And, like, it's now also, like, there are genetic components to it. But there's, like, I'm sure you could trace it to where there are people that may not have this. And they do because of us. And it's all our faults. Don't get in the water. Got it. That's just how screwed up we are as a race, as a human race. Oh, that's so nice. I'm 
so happy that that should be happening. Is this where we start getting recordings? I'm not sure. Eventually we're gonna get recordings of Aperture's founder, Cave Johnson. Spoilers! Oh. Do I even need... No, I think I do need... Oh, there I am! Look at me! Cute! Adorbs! Where's this lever? Oh, it's right here. It asked me to pull stuff, but I didn't know what it was asking me to pull. Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. To science. She's married to science. There was a thing I was going to do. I'm just going to walk up and to the wall. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. We hit the wall. So dope. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Here's some potato stuff. Potato science. Best new science company. Making shower curtains. Here's, we're probably in the salt mine right here. Um, in, in Upper Michigan, so that's where, that's where we're at. We're in Upper Michigan. Um, and I'm assuming it's like from Idaho, it's a spirit of Idaho, which is their export is potatoes, I think. get annoying fast. I think we're, we're gonna hear more monologue in effect too. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. 
Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Nice, at least they'll cut it out, right? That's what matters. Okay, so I know we're going to drop one there. Then we're going to go, like, down a floor. And then we're gonna put one as we fall. Whee! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I wasn't nervous. You were nervous. Hey, smoking's bad for you. That goes right into the cancer stuff we were talking about. See what we can mess with and turn on. There's a phone. Just in case that wasn't obvious. Oh, here's more hazardous materials and chemicals. Oh lordy. I can do this. I feel like I'm definitely gonna die. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Oh, okay. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. So comforting. And here we are at our first, or our next loading screen. We're gonna start doing our first test or two. let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. So I'm told. People keep texting me and like I'm trying to record and it's like super important and I'm not responding because I'm recording. I can respond like after I'm done with this video and before I make the next one for sure, but Whee! So we figured that out. Let's do Let's jump here. Oh, we need, we need to get that button, don't we? Whee! So much fun, my companion cube. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. That's true. He does. Oh lord, was I that close to falling off? Gosh, you guys gotta tell me that next time. Oh lordy. I'm... I clenched. I'm not gonna lie. I clenched. Which direction do I need to go? Cute, an office. Is there anything important in here? Nope, I just don't know what I'm doing. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Can't be this way. This next test, we put nanoparticles oh, in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors, 
Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, that's just the sound when I'm on. I was scared for a second. I was like, what's happening? Dear lordy. Okay. I can do this. I'm just gonna fall right under this platform. Take this box with me. I'm just gonna go with me. Oh, dang it. Oh. I was like, where do I take this box? Because I'm an idiot. I was trying to do math last night. I was talking to a person. Don't worry about it. And um, I was trying to do math. And it was literally just doubling 10.8, right? And that's all it took. And I couldn't even do that. I was like, oh, no, it was like doubling 5.8. Which I was like, oh, that's 10.16. They're like, that's not how decimal works. And I failed miserably. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Start talking before I even before I even um, move. No, don't. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps uh, out the rats. Let us know if you feel that. a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Thanks. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's asbestos. I'm going to start quoting that. I'd love to start quoting that. I need to go up. How can I go up? I'm sure that's just there to throw me off. There it is. I can't wait to not do this the correct way. Ah! ah. I, I clenched again. Right 
I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. That's illegal. I'm gonna finish this test, I'm gonna end this video here. Because this is gonna be a doozy. It's gonna freaking cover this entire room and this stuff. All over the place. Yeah, let's, let's get it like where I shoot at, and then when it goes up, shoot it somewhere else. Is it covered? It's not as covered as I'd like it to be. I don't remember why I need it covered either. Oh yeah. do about So fun, how cute this is. This, this, uh, the test is taking like forever. Okay. Oh, I want more than that though. Let's kind of spread this out so. Land slightly different. Nope, it's just not. Okay. Well, that's cute. So let's. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Just a heads up that Made coffee it. we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. That's so great. I'm so happy about that. I'm gonna end that video right there.